Welcome. Welcome to another bright spot. I'm Wayne Hollinshed, and on behalf of Westmont Christian Church, we are saying welcome to this time in which we will share some positive thoughts, thoughts that are based on the Word of God. And if it's based on the Word of God, you don't get a better, a better foundation than that. I'm standing next to this slide and the swings that we have here at Westmont Christian Church, because I'm, I'm reminiscing the days that I was just a little shaver, and I'm glad I can still remember those days, that I would get on the swings and I would see how high I could pump the swings and then jump out. And as I got more and more confidence, I'd get higher and higher. And the joy and the laughter I would have with my friends, my cousins, my family, and going down the slides and how much I enjoyed that. I remember also as a father and my kids getting on some of these slides that are so much higher than what we ever had. We never had anything that would spiral like this. But when the kids were real small, then they would want daddy down at the bottom of the slide to catch them. It was a comforting feeling to have their dad there. And aren't we that way in our life? We, we might take on more and more challenges in life. And as we do then, as we've mentioned before, we get more confidence, new challenges, new opportunities. But also when we base it on the Word of God, then we have that foundation, as we said earlier, that we can step out a little bit more. And when we do, we always have an opportunity to glorify Him if we just take it. Our life has enough stress. Books, libraries are filled with books that tell us how to handle stress. Counselors make large sums of money by counseling those that have so much stress, they don't feel like they can handle it anymore by themselves. They need somebody to talk to. Pills, prescriptions, a a flood of market devices that are used to try to cut back on the anxieties we have in life. And we're glad we have the counselors. We're glad that we have the medication. But there's no substitute for our Lord and our Savior. Whenever I am in the midst of trials, I go to the Lord in prayer. And there is joy there. In the last couple of weeks, I have had three different funerals. All three of the families were followers of Jesus Christ. All the family members, they had broken hearts, a lot of tears. But they also had the joy of knowing there was Jesus Christ and that their loved one had eternity in his kingdom. So they were celebrating that while they were hurting here. But their loved one was in a special, special place and there was no doubt in their mind. And so while we're struggling with whatever it might be, relationships, finances, uh, business, illnesses, whatever it might be, when we struggle hand in hand with our Lord, then we have extra security. We have extra joy. I'd like to share from Psalms, the 33rd chapter. And David was so good at looking at the joys in life because he had such a special relationship with God. The 33rd chapter of, of Psalms, the first verse says, Sing rejoicefully to the Lord your righteousness it is fitting for the upright to praise him praise the lord with a harp make music to him on the ten stringed lyric sing to him a new song play play skillfully and shout for joy for the word of the lord is right and true he is faithful in all he does the Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full 
of his unfailing love. You can just hear the joy in it. And we know that psalmist means music. We know David would write music. We knew, know he was a musician in the trials that he had. And he certainly had trials that I cannot even begin to relate to. You can't relate to it. But he never, ever divorced himself of his Lord. He might stray, and yes, he did. But he always came back to the Lord in song and celebration and in joy. May you and I replace the sorrows we have with the joy that comes from our Lord. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your words, your words of wisdom, the words that just sing out with joy. Thank you, Lord, that we have this inspiration from you that we may follow in your footsteps, that during those troubling times that we know truly we are not walking alone and we can sing and rejoice in the name of Christ. For we pray it in your name. Amen.